Welcome everyone, I'm Alberto from Silver Wind Sail and today we are going to race with the Virtual Regatta Inshore. Uh, we are going to race with the NACRA 17 and we are ready to go for the first race of the day. Today we will do only a couple of races and, um, and we'll see if we can continue the nice uh, pace we are keeping. We are never out of the podium, we have um, uh, two first position, two second position, two third position in the first six races. Uh, I want to go at eight races, so we have only seven left and uh, three player only at the moment. So we are going to wait and we are going to speak about some real sailing around the world. Uh, always doing between if you never see me before I'm always speaking about the real sailing um, normally uh, dinghy sailing and uh, uh, big boat racing like I avoid like trimarans and like orma but normally about uh, all the things regarding sailing and new boats and for today, the, um, the things I want to speak about is uh, the new Italia Yachts 1198. Have you seen it already? I think it is uh, one of the best boats that already designed uh, from the schematics, but I just saw a couple of pictures um, stolen from uh, some dockyards uh, and um, I'm really really looking forward to see that boat on the racing areas. Um, the designers are amazing, they really proved uh, themselves before with uh, uh, Italia Yacht uh, 999 uh, Fuori Serie. Fuori Serie, yeah. And um, that is an amazing uh, 10 meter boat. And. Uh, running with Spinnaker that is kind of unusual especially in the latest time uh, as everyone is going for Spinnaker and all the other boat all the other Italian yachts are going with uh, sorry with Jennaker and um, Italia Yacht 999 <coughs> sorry the Italia Yacht 999 is going with a Spinnaker Okay, so today I want, uh, as always, I want to be polite, say good morning everyone, have a good race and see if we have uh, someone uh, who is going uh, uh, against us that would be really, really strong. We have raced against Mezzo Marinaio before and uh, he is uh, really, really, um, was really, really a good racer. Um, <laughs> Charizard, I hope he, he never burned me. Uh, it's, um, for who doesn't know, it's a pocket monster. It's um, famous uh, being, uh, amongst the cats, not really amongst um, 50s and 60s. But okay, let's time to race. Uh, small left, but the line is really strong on the right. So try to find ourselves a space to start. I don't want to be under the sail on anyone. Let's see if I can start now. Really a bad start for me at the moment. Uh, I am giving a hard time to X-Wing, but X-Wing is keeping us... No, sorry, ESP is keeping us here. So when he tucked, we are going to tuck. There is still the left wind shift. See if we can uh, recover. It's really, really um, a crowded race. Before I was racing with uh, seven, eight people, just racing five minutes ago, and now we have eleventh uh, already. Eleven already. So let's see how how good we can be with this one. Uh, the Swiss is really good. Is going really, really great. And stripes, I thought was uh, Swiss too. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, ah, stripes because you have stripes on the sail. That's so nice. Mm. We are going to have a really hard time for the um, uh, first mark. 
and uh, I'm go I want really want to see what's happening uh, when uh, we are going to um, hoist the Jennaker. See if we can gain some uh, nut position, but at least uh, close the gap between uh, these two boats, as he's the first one and he's the third, and we are six. That's incredible how many boats they can fit in this place. I heard this, I see stripes taking a penalty one second ago, and it was uh, passing me just bef behind me. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, find the right way to go. And the right way to go is do not jive. Hoist the spinnaker a little bit earlier, see if we can um, speed up in the moment uh, we are going to uh, bear away. You see we have a, a, a fleet of uh, Swiss people at the moment in front and definitely go for the right mark is really important. Let's see if these two boats are going uh, uh, bad air between each other. We are going same speed. Uh, he's a little bit slower, so he's going to be influenced by him. And uh, let's go to this mark, this one. Three boats for the mark. Oh, touch the mark. Uh, was a tough call, was really, really not enough space for us to put ourselves in. Uh, I should have bear away, but the three boat lengths are definitely not enough. Uh, especially if a boat is running at 20 knots and is five meter long. Think about uh, 20 knots uh, is 10 meter per second for a boat that is, uh, go for five, that's easier. A little bit, uh, it's Nakra 17, yeah, five meter long. And if you're going 10 meter per second, the three boat length are 15 meter, is 1.5 second. So how you can have room to go inside in 1.5 seconds, it's crazy. It's really, I'm not saying impossible, but it's really, really hard is much easier when the boat is going <laughs> a little bit slower. So only at 14, 14.5 knots. But <laughs> you know, 14.5 knots is uh, still a, a lot. Let's see if we are getting lucky right now because that's what we need. Uh, at the moment there is a right wind shift. If it's coming a left one, we're going to gain. And we have a small left at the moment. As you can see, we can go full foil already. Let's see if we can find a place where we can go inside. Woohoo! We found our space. It was a really tough spot, guys. And now it's time to ice the Jenica and fly downwind. And where are we going? Jabbing, 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 jabbing. Seems there is more wind over there. 19.8 and growing. Oh, come on, first race in English and uh, I'm out of the podium. I'm so upset. Uh, let's see, yeah, we have to jibe. We have to keep ourselves in the mm, bigger wind. And you see 20.3 is the maximum, so. I think if we jibe now and we go to go to nearby the race committee, maybe we can gain some meters. But it'll be really tough. And as you can see, we finished in the fifth position. I'm really upset because actually it's the seventh race. So actually, I, if I want to discard that one, I have to do six race more. Hope I do not. Uh, Screw up again for this race and ready for the second one and last one of the day. Sorry. Hmm. Already 11 players. So, second topics. Um, Princess Sophia Racing. Have you ever seen, have you ever really seen, already seen the videos from that? There's the dinghy races in uh, Palma de Mallorca. 
they are so good they're so great and if you look at the um, laser um, group there is a uh, um, Robert Scheidt I think the pronounce is correct not not 100% and that uh, is in the ninth position. It doesn't seem so good, but think about uh, he had, he have um, he's um, forty five years old, forty five years old on a laser that is one of the most physics physical boat you can race on. It's really really like uh, playing a, a major. Um, um, major sports when you're 45 is like you need to be on top of the performance you need to be a hundred percent all the time you need to hike like at 20 years old but uh, for all of us that doesn't have 20 and doesn't have 20 years old anymore you can understand that the, um, the problem on that so I'm really 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 impressed of what Robert Scheid is doing uh, left wind shift, 8 seconds to the start, let's start to the pin, and then try to, to tuck over there. Go. Nice start. We were full foiling. We have some meter of advantage. Maybe not enough. Let's see if, what's happening if we tuck. I think we can cross in front of the fleet. It would be really tough. Woof. Woof, thanks. Uh, Eta 4955 is going, yeah, maybe it's going to the right. Right now we have a right wind shift. During the cross, uh, probably the wind uh, uh, shifted again. A nice time for us to take that shift. And you see Alec is the boat over there that says in front, but is in front only because the software didn't calculate yet the right wind shift. In the moment Alec is going to tuck away, he's going to lose space at least. And probably if a, we, a left wind shift is coming, we are going uh, um, to be nearby the ley line, so it was a little bit stupid to go uh, over that. You see the left wind shift is coming back. And uh, let's see what's happening. I can see there is some wind coming from the right. Maybe it would be a good idea to jibe as soon as we hoist the Jenneker. And uh, probably we will be on the head of the race. Let's see. That would be really, really, really... No. We are in the top group but uh, we are not in the head i thought uh, we can uh, pass in front of them but i was incorrect let's see if they jibe yeah well, they all jibe they all see the wind i've seen already let's try even to stay a little bit higher if we can go in that wind before them look at the battle they're doing to go in that uh, area Now we have to find the right time to jibe because if we go too long, yeah, now uh, the white one, the Hungarian one, knock down sailing, knock down sailing, have find the right mark to round because we have to round that one, guys. There's not much you can say, and up. <clears throat> He rounded the mark better than me, actually. I'm a little bit upset. Let's see with a double tuck how much we lost. And uh, uh, we are in the second position just behind the knockdown selling. And uh, even if the other mark was uh, better for the right wind shift, it was really, really two, three boat lengths uh, behind the other one. So now it's time to take the, um, the probably will become a left wind shift over here. So we are going to wait a little bit longer before tacking. We want to increase the separation and see if we can gain a little bit more. 
and it's time to tuck right now because we are I think we are already in the ley line yeah if we are not we are really close to that and we have to hope for a left wind shift now we really have to hope for that because the neum is catching up on us and uh, we are really really close so probably we'll be again at the best on the third position but i think we lost another one and the wind is still going to the right so definitely not a good strategy for us and either four nine five five already pass in front of us see if we can put our stern in front of the french uh, carton and you know we can already hoist the spinnaker because I do not know why they didn't jibe. Definitely there's more wind over there. 19.1, 19.2. We are already going two knots faster than Neum. And probably we are going to gain again our position. Eh, that would be a tough call. We are still faster. Not super fast. I want to finish in the podium, guys. At least one. We are still going one knot faster, definitely not enough, but... <sighs> okay guys, uh, we finish on fourth position. I'm so sorry I cannot be on the podium again. And that's it for the day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, please uh, push the like button. If um, you want to subscribe for more English video, uh, please press the subscribe button. As you can see, uh, one, two, two, one, two, three. No, actually three second, one third was before. And now we have a fourth and a fifth. So we have a total of 35 points on eight races. That's not so bad because we are only in page number two at the beginning. Like uh, 68. And um, you see, number seven, 67 have already 12 races, number 65 already 15 races. So there is a lot of people already done a lot of races and they have just a couple of points more than us. So I'm pretty happy still. Let's put my big face in the scene so hit the subscribe button i will do more english video about the virtual regatta insure as requested and uh, hope you to see you next time bye